number of eggs obtained in in vitro fertilization is the most important factor in the treatment success. We consider an adequate number of approximately between 8 and 12, and this is due to the fact that not all the eggs will have the capacity to fertilize and not all of them will lead to a functional embryo. Therefore, an inadequate response to a stimulation treatment can greatly reduce the probability of pregnancy. We consider there is a low response to stimulation when we obtain less than 4 eggs after treatment, or in patients who have not undergone treatment when the parameters of ovarian reserve are diminished, mainly antimullerian hormone and antral follicle count. Nowadays, we could perform several stimulation protocols in different phases of the menstrual cycle. Traditionally, we started the stimulation with menstruation, which is known as follicular phase stimulation. Nowadays, we know that the ovary is able to respond in all phases of the menstrual cycle, so we elaborate different stimulation strategies, such as after an ovulation, which is called luteal phase stimulation, obtaining also, in some patients, better results. In fact, we are currently evaluating how the ovary responds at different times of the menstrual cycle and establishing which patients might benefit from a starting treatment at one time or another. The egg accumulation has multiple advantages. First, we know that the larger number of eggs, the greater the probability of obtaining a higher number of embryos. This is important not only for patients with a low response, but also in some situations in which despite an optimal response from the ovary, we medically recommend obtaining a greater number of eggs. These situations could be a drop in the oocytes quality in some pathologies, such as endometriosis, or in the presence, for example, of a genetic disease that could oblige us to analyze a higher number of embryos. On the other hand, we find the time factor of great importance for some patients due to their age or pathology. This strategy allows us to accumulate a greater number of eggs in a short period of time. Additionally, we have also a clear economic advantage. Despite the fact that we have to perform several stimulations, the process of fertilization and embryo culture will only be done once, so the cost for the patient will be considerably reduced. Finally, having several embryos available allows us not only to reduce the time to pregnancy, but also the probability of having remaining embryos vitrified or preserved for the future. This way, patients can achieve a second pregnancy to expand the family without having to go through the whole treatment process again.